All right, the next example was solving for unknown geometry. This is a little bit like our best fit example where we're given survey points, uh, but we're really just given a portion of what we need to solve the alignment. We can use the horizontal element tools to solve the rest of the alignment. In this example, I'm given three points and a radius. My three points were down here at the beginning. I was given another point here. I was given the radius of this curve, and I was given the Kogo point where this alignment will tie in. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go import those points again that I was given from the surveyor, and go to File, Import Geometry. This time I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to use the Text Import Wizard for this one. File, Text Import Wizard. This time I'm going to bring the data directly into the Kogo buffer, so I'm going to choose Kogo points, and I'm going to browse to get the Kogo. I'll say OK. Um, I have some header information. I'll get rid of that real quick. One more. Hit the Next button. Um, it's delimited. It's space delimited. I'm going to, the first column is going to be point name. The second one is northing. And this one is easting. All right, so we'll finish that. And now I have uh, three points brought in to my Kogo buffer. I'm going to view those real quick, view horizontal annotation. Going to remove this alignment that we're not working with anymore. And I'm going to want to display these points using a different style. Let's choose a filter. Um, these three right here we saw earlier in the text import wizard are what we brought in. Oops. We can see that those are actually a little bit out of my project here. Um, so I'll I'll go ahead and construct some new Kogo points here just to just to demonstrate what you might be working with. So I'll go to Geometry, Kogo Points, New. If I were given a Kogo Point here at the start of the project, in the middle of the roadway there, uh, we'll place that point. That'll be point number 22. Alright, that one looks good. And uh, I was also given a point where they believe the point of curvature of this curve uh, began. About right there, that point 23. And then I was given the tie-in point to the existing, out to my existing alignment, out here at the beginning of this intersection. That was point 24. Just kind of having to construct this on the fly. Um, so if these are the points I was given, the tie-in points at the beginning and the end of the project, they shot what they believe to be the P, uh, C of the curve, and we know that the radius of the curve is 480. But we don't have any idea on the bearing of this line or the PT of the curve. Um, that's the unknown that we're trying to solve for. We can do this easily with the horizontal element tools by going to uh, Geometry, Horizontal Element. The first thing we're going to do is add a fixed line. Instead of identifying the points, we have the Kogel points there already, so I'm just going to enter those in. 22 and 23. Hit apply and it simply connects those two points. Um, accept it. The next thing I'm going to do is come in and just float my 480 foot radius curve out there. So I'll do uh, geometry, horizontal element. I'm going to float the curve. It's just going to temporarily be located. Um, it's a curve to the left, so it's a minus 480. Apply, I'm going to choose this element. All right, and uh, you can see that it, it floats that curve off there. Now, the, the PT that I identify here is going to be temporary uh, until it's going to be temporary until um, I lay in my next element there. I'm just going to identify a point there. That looks good. I'm going to accept it and then get out of the floating curve command. And then finally, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and, and uh, take a tangent off of this curve 
and make it hit my line out there. So what I'm going to do is uh, is do geometry. I'm going to place another f a floating line this time, horizontal element, add floating line, and uh, by point, the point is already out there, so I'm just going to type in that name, and it'll grab the coordinates from the Kogo buffer and hit apply. Identify element that I want to float it off of. Uh, it chose the curve there, and I'm going to accept the solution there. So it's created my geometry just from a couple of knowns. I had a couple of unknowns, mainly the position of this PT, the bearing on my line out here. I, I didn't know any of those, but I was able to construct those points uh, by using the horizontal element tools.